So good afternoon everyone. So I am uh, Lionel. <laughs> and um, so we are not so many in the room today. Um, Stefan is not able to was not able to be in Dallas, so it should be remotely. Uh, yeah, yeah, I will. Uh, so I will need first of all uh, one volunteer for minute taker, and uh, I will also need someone in the Jabba room. So okay, and anyone volunteer for any minute will be good. So don't be uh, don't be afraid. I think that they will not, it should not be uh, too much discussion, so you can, you, you can easily volunteer. That's okay. Um, I'm going to do a minute taker. I'm going to do the Jabber Swaggy. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can say. So thanks, thanks for volunteering. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was saying that uh, I am uh, Lionel Morand. I'm the new chair, uh, the new co-chair of the Radex instead, um, instead of uh, Uni. So uh, I was involved in the group for a long time ago, and uh, since a long time. And uh, I'm also chair of the uh, Dime working group dealing with the diameter protocol. And um, so, ah, more people. So I was thinking that um, Alan is not there; he's traveling right now. And uh, Sam should be uh, should be following the uh, the session remotely, and um, and Stefan too. So I don't know if uh, the Mikeko is already on. Uh, uh, but we will see. Uh, sorry? No, no, it's just the beginning. So first of all, we have the note well, so you should be aware of that. So just to, to know that uh, if you have any IPR and so on, you, you have to mention that, to declare that. Um, so the proposed agenda is the following one. So we will go through the uh, agenda batching first. And we will review also the uh, document status, mainly for the working group documents. And after that, we will try to have a discussion about the um, ongoing uh, draft. So we have a presentation from Dean on the uh, IP port configuration and reporting. So we will go through this one. And Sam would like to have some uh, discussion uh, about the uh, other draft uh, on a larger packet for reduce uh, on over TCP. So uh, I hope that Sam would be able to to say something using the uh, uh, Miteco uh, solution. Uh, we will have uh, an open discussion about the uh, individual graph discussion because uh, as you have seen uh, on the mailing list, there is a proposal for restarting the, um, uh, the working group. So it is proposed to add uh, three new topics and to rely on uh, three existing documents uh, as a working group documents. So we will see that. And we will have the discussion about the, um, uh, the new charter uh, at the end. Anything to add to the proposed agenda or to modify? No, so I go on. So since the last uh, IMT, uh, ITF meeting, actually it's the uh, ITF uh, uh, 91, 91st. Uh, there is no published RFC yet, but we have uh, two documents in the uh, RFC editor queue. Uh, we have the uh, network access identifier uh, that is uh, almost uh, published. We are still waiting for some reviewer for the uh, INI allocation, so we need an expert reviewer, uh, but uh, it should be done uh, soon. And we have the reduced packet fragmentation that is already uh, um, also ready for publication, uh, but uh, there is still some discussion with um, the RFC editor to to um, to catch some uh, some edited needs in the documents. 
but it should be uh, it should be uh, soon uh, submitted. So there is a mistake in the next step. Uh, the next step uh, should be uh, for both um, RFC publication. In the at the IESG level, we have um, a we had a discussion about the uh, NA based, um, so the dynamic peer uh, discovery based on NA. Uh, the last call was completed uh, at the end of this week. Uh, and um, no comments were received, but uh, we need also expert reviews for INI allocation. And, uh, and we are still waiting, I think, from, um, so the l last comment, um, no, it was for the uh, network access identifier. So there is no comment received, so it should go through IEG um, uh, evaluation. So it is um, planned for the next uh, IEG telechat. So we will see the output of that. So next week, I think, or in two weeks. Four or nine. Yeah. Yeah. But it's on the good track. Uh, for the working group items, uh, we have the larger packet for reduce over TCP. So we will have a discussion for that. Um, no change uh, since, um, uh, oh, oh, sorry, um, a new version was uh, provided um, at the beginning of the month. Uh, all the non comments were uh, captured in the new version, so it should be ready for working group last call. We will see uh, if there is uh, agreement for that. And uh, the next step would be uh, after the working group last call, the uh, IEG submission. And we will have a specific presentation for IP port configuration and reporting. So we have a new version, version 3. Uh, so after exchange, mainly with uh, Alan and the authors, uh, there is a new version of the document capturing, first of all, the comments uh, received, and also uh, uh, the new definition of the mapping between a Redis CLB uh, type and IP fixed elements. Uh, that so this uh, has been uh, incorporated in the draft. So from the other point of view, it should be uh, the document is stable and, uh, and uh, ready for working with last one. Uh, we will have a discussion at the end of the meeting on the proposal for uh, the new work item. Uh, so we have three docu uh, candidate documents. So the dynamic authorization for thing uh, that was not changed uh, since the last IETF. But we have received some late comments uh, based on the text providing for the new charter. So there is an ongoing discussion between uh, Peter and Alan, ma mainly. Uh, we will see how to cope that. Peter is in the room? I don't think so. Uh, we have uh, the uh, EAP response identity, how to use the, uh, this information. Uh, so no change in the last ITF, but it was agreed at the last ITF that uh, it should be a working group document, so we will discuss that. And we have also the register type, uh, data types. Uh, and uh, same conclusion for this one. So um, now we have uh, some time for the uh, discussion of the working group draft. So we have uh, 10 minutes or even 20, but 10 minutes should be, should be okay. So I yeah, I have the slides. Okay, um, good afternoon. Uh, this draft, something, okay. This draft was, uh, uh, next slide please. The uh, revision three, and uh, actually the draft was uh, adopted uh, exactly one year ago. And uh, since then, uh, there are comments in the several meetings and also on the mailing list. Um, to help to uh, shape the uh, the document, and then in particular uh, the highlights, uh, for example, the uh, using the TRV for each data field, and that one uh, was fixed uh, in the uh, zero one uh, revision, and then the uh, last meeting um, there was a major comment to suggest to use the IP fix instead of uh, defining the, uh, uh, the 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 uh, Redis itself, but. To do that requires some mapping. So that comment was also uh, incorporated and then reflected in the uh, 03 uh, revision of the text. Okay, so, so what I'm trying to say is on this slide, the status of reflecting all the comments so far 
from the London meeting and uh, Toronto meeting, the uh, Honolulu meeting, and also on the main list, all being taken care. Okay, so that's the status and uh, uh, the reflecting the uh, 03 revision. Next slide, please. And then let me just go over, uh, before I get to the point that which uh, the major change in the uh, 03 revision to ref reflecting the uh, mapping between the uh, TRV in the radix, uh, radix and the IP fix. So let me just uh, review quickly. We're proposing three uh, extensions for the uh, radix uh, attributes, IP port limit attribute to configure the, net, the max number of uh, the IP ports for the port device for a specific or all the IP address associated with the device. The number two is the port range reporting back to the uh, radio server and uh, for particular IP ad specific IP ad v4 address, what port being allocated or deallocated. So that is the uh, very useful uh, attribute using the existing protocol to report back to the server. And then the last one, the IP4 forwarding map, if you're familiar with the uh, PCP protocol, which allow a dynamically configure one or more port mapping, but here is uh, using the radius to configure uh, a mapping between internal and external port uh, associated with the internal or external IP uh, V4 address. Okay, next one. So those are the highlights of the three uh, attributes we're proposing. And then uh, taking um, account into account of the, uh, all the comments uh, we received, so we modify the frame extension for the radix as such, the type, links, and the extended type, and then followed by values. So this format actually is following exactly what defined in the RFC 6929, okay? So including type could be uh, one, uh, chosen from the uh, 241, 242, 243, 244, uh, 244, that's up to the uh, INA to de decide. And then the extended type also defined, very well defined in the 6929. This is the application, how to use that. And uh, finally, the value is a bunch of embedded TRVs, uh, which we're proposing and also uh, uh, according to the comments uh, received from this working group. So this is the, uh, the high level uh, pack the format. Next. And then this is a list of the TRVs we pro we're proposing. We have to support all the three uh, extensions of the uh, Redix uh, uh, attributes. And those attributes will contain one or more embedded TRVs. So these are the individual TRVs in define. So actually there are no change in the uh, zero one tags. I'm not going to go through everything. Is to split internal IP Okay. <laughs> the reason before that is because we now require to mapping between the radix and then IP IP uh, fix, and IP fix has uh, internal IPv4 address and IPv6 address. So to account to accommodate that, then we split into two different TRV, but their semantics are the same. Only the address family is different. Okay. So uh, these are the uh, the list of the TRVs we. And then uh, according to the RFC 6929, then you know there is a nice way to describe the identifiers, right? So it's a hierarchical structure there. For example, the IP port limit attribute, okay? You have a type dot extended type dot IP port type TRV. Those are mandatory, right? And then the IP port limit TRV, of course, is mandatory because you are passing the uh, uh, information from the server to the port device and then demand what is the port level of uh, the port limit for a specific IP address or maybe uh, all the IP address um, configured on the device. And then these round bracket are the uh, optional device. So this is to follow the RFC 6929, how to uh, express the identifiers for the um, Redix, uh, Redix attributes. Next one, please. So, so far there's no change there, all right? So this one is also no change there from the uh, zero one. And uh, just to describe for each attribute we propose, what are the mandatory optional uh, TRVs? Okay, those also reflect to the uh, uh, the identifier in the previous slide. So there's not nothing. This is just a table format to uh, maybe it's easy to read for some people. All right. So next one, please. 
So this is the new change that we put in the uh, revision three. Uh, the requirement uh, we received from the there's probably three three uh, people on the mailing list in the meeting uh, asking for the mapping using existing IP fix. So we have this uh, highlight here is in the IANA uh, the uh, <coughs> the table for all the assignments. Okay, and then we have majority of the uh, existing um, I, IP fix element uh, or IDs, they are available. And then we only need to propose three more because we need three more currencies not uh, defined by the IP fix. So we have this table to show all the TLVs we, we're proposing uh, as the uh, Redix extension and uh, being embedded, contained in the uh, attributes. How to map one to one mapping to the uh, IP fix element. Okay, so it's very nice mapping here, but I have to point out in the IP fix, there's a uh, IP fix element ID which has the 16 bits number, all right? And then the TRV in the ratings is 8 bits. So we asking the INA to approve this proposal is to mapping uniquely one to one mapping. So that's what because th there's no way to put a 16 bits number in the uh, TRV uh, defined in the uh, according to 6929. So, so this is a one-to-one one one, uh, unique mapping. That's uh, what we are designed for. Okay. So this is the uh, the major change and uh, um, update to the uh, to the draft according to the comments. Any questions so far? So this slide is 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 a, is a major, right? And also the highlight the, highlighted the uh, three proposed uh, transport type, uh, net transport limit, and the last one local ID. Those three currently not defined by the by the IP fix, and now uh, we propose uh, to be added. Next. Okay. So Please. just um, okay. so the recommendation for IANA will be to to define the value for these three um, elements yes. inside the 8-bit... Uh, yes, IP fix, right. which has nothing to do with the uh, Redix. Okay. Yeah. So, th so those three things being, pr being proposed to be added to the IP fix, okay? And then uh, once being added, then we have a TRV defined in the Redix and the pointer to it, okay? So one-to-one one one mapping is unique. Right, so we define because you know when's the TIV being approved, you have to assign them anyway, right? And those numbers are unique, and the things are unique, then why not just point to another set of unique number which is defined by the IP fix? So that's the uh, that's the uh, concept there, all right. So okay, next one. So this is just to show, uh, in order to make this work, then um, we have to propose uh, to the uh, IANA the what I think is a totally 11 TRVs uh, defined in the uh, for, for the Redix uh, extension to support the three uh, extended attributes and then also the reference in the document where those TRV being described and then in particular like a port type TRV then uh, those uh, there's uh, five different values there right TCP UDP port plus ICMP identify or TCP UDP port or TCP port only or UDP port only or IC ICMP identify only. So those things are waiting for once the last call being, you know, passed and then submit to the uh, ISG, then uh, those things are being waiting to the coupon on the side. All right. So this is one, one set of things that we are asking for ENA to approve. The next one, please. The next one is the three things that we're talking about. And the, those three things have nothing to do with the uh, Redix. It's just solely added to the uh, IP fix and then to best de define, describe uh, a port device, right? So we, and we need to add three more things, right? And then notice that in the current IP fix, the uh, database, they already have net, de net related uh, parameters there, okay? Like a start point, end point, right? So here is a limit, then it's pretty much um, in the same category. And then I don't, uh, I don't think that would be uh, difficult to uh, convince people this is important because you know you you already have some of the parameters already. <coughs> excuse me. Yeah. Define the net device, the port device behavior. Then there's one more. Okay. And uh, and then uh, because of the net device, the port device, 
you operating on the uh, on the IP uh, transport uh, port ID, right? So you have to uh, uh, tell people what the port, right? Because you have a different port number, right? You have TCP, UDP, you have identifier, and then currently in the net device, the port device, they all handle in you know in a in a uniform way. But you know it would be better to tell maybe some operator they want to know what's the difference there. So this, I think, uh, uh, you know, we think the uh, is making sense to add this up also there, okay? So those three things are the uh, suggestion to the INR to be added to the uh, IPVIX. Have nothing to do with the uh, Redix, but however, once being added to IPVIX, then we have a map, one-to-one -one mapping between this and then Redix here. Next one, please. Oh, you have a question? Good question. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. I mean, uh, I'm, just too, I'm just too nervous, maybe. All right. Anyway, so this is the, uh, uh, that's it, an uh, uh, introduction to what being changed in the revision three, okay? And as I said earlier, the, uh, the, the draft has been adopted for a year, right? And then since then, almost every meeting, and then also on the mailing list, there are, there are being uh, comments. And every time the comments are, are being uh, provided, we uh, change the draft accordingly and uh, um, I was confident in say confident in say all the problems being resolved. So the authors think that the draft is pretty stable and uh, we requesting for the um, uh, with Thank you. So question regarding the uh, draft or the presentation? So, except the author in the room who had um, read the draft. This version or previous version, anyway. Okay. Uh, because for, for myself, for instance, I have uh, not read the, uh, the latest version. So, specifically, uh, specifically the mapping between uh, TLV and uh, IP fix elements. Um, uh, so this draft was submitted in February, right? February, yes. Yeah, and uh, you haven't received any comment from Alan? No, no. But he had <coughs> lots of comments from the uh, previous based on the zero one. Zero two is just refresh. We didn't make a change because we don't want to be expired, right? So he had a lot of comments on the uh, zero one text. And then uh, there was another person who forgot his name that's also talking about the same thing. He's suggesting, strongly suggest to use IP fix element instead of define our own TLV, right? So, so that being taken care of. Catherine? Sure, this is from the Java room. Uh, Stefan says he's read the earlier rev, not this one, but thinks we can go ahead with working group last call. And Sam started typing in when we get to bigger packets and I'm waiting for the rest to come. So it was what, what, uh, said it just is when we get to bigger packets, so I think he wasn't done. Right, right, right after. The bigger packets? That's all it says, when we get to bigger packets. Right after. Some. Thank you, sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm the new AD. I'm no, 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 no problem. I'm getting up to speed. It's, it's, a, it's a, the, the, next, uh, the next topic. Sam says, uh, we discussed the need for a protocol error code at the last meeting. Text was proposed. There was a review on list. And those review comments were addressed. I believe the draft is ready for working group last call. Thanks. But this one is for the uh, other drafts, right? For the larger packets? Yes. OK. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sam, which draft is this for, just to be clear? I would assume that it's for his draft. I would assume that it, it is for his draft. His draft. Bigger packets, yes. yeah. I just want to so, uh, some we will, we will, uh, we will uh, go on with this draft right after. For the time being, we are still on the uh, IP port configuration and so on. So, 
Um, I have one, at least one comment regarding the INR allocation process for the IP fix element. Have you checked what kind of procedure is uh, defined for the allocation of value for IP fix elements? Is it an expert review or is there is a need for a specific draft? Certification requested or? You mean how that works? How the, uh, um, the value new, so how, how the new IP fix element yes, being proposed, how that works? No, 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 no. How they are uh, the, the value from IANA I are allocated? Uh, I don't know the detail, but look at the uh, the RFC itself. Um, it's just uh, a 16 bit number, yeah. and then sequentially, then you have to provide a number there, and then you have to have a syntax. Um, I mean, for the semantic, what it means. Yeah, but that's all. What's the RFC? Expert review? Okay, so it's there is no need for. I think yeah. we can we can. I think so. I would I will double check, but I think that yeah. we can rely on this draft to say we we, we want to. We don't need a specific action regarding uh, IP fix. Just no. rely on this draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a link. If you click on that, that is a big table to show all the the current yeah. the elements in the IP fix. Okay. So which is proposing as a free model. Yeah, but uh, but as explained by uh, so as clarified by uh, Mohamed, I think that uh, the only thing that would be required is an expert review to say that uh, these values are valid and so on. So I think that there right. is no issue. So uh, and, 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 I, and also sorry, uh, I think I believe. It, it this kind of thing happened before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When yeah, the IP fix started, it's, it's not that long. So no, no, no. So it, it was not something, uh, it was not a, um, a limitation. It was just to know the process on, on how to request right, new right, value right. for yeah. IP fix elements. Um, okay, so we have um, a comment from, uh, from Stefan saying that uh, this document is okay for working group last call. I think that the main, so I will review also this one, uh, so the last version of the document to provide comment, but it could be done along the working group last call, so it will at least fix um, um, a limit in the time for review, it will be a two weeks um, uh, a period. So I will initiate uh, the working group last call right after the ATF meeting, it is easier to, uh, to, um, to, to manage the process. So, and during this time, Alan will be able also to provide any uh, additional comments. Okay. And based on the output of this working group last call, we will see what to do, uh, if a revision is needed, if a new working group last call is needed, and so on. If not, we will submit it, uh, so we will do the, um, the proto write-up and uh, propose the, the documents for IHG submission. Okay? Okay. So this one is down, so it was for IP port configuration and reporting. So the next one in line is uh, the one from SAM, the, the larger packet for reduce over TCP. So we have received uh, already the command from SAM. So as on the main list or right now on the Jabber room, saying that this document uh, um, is stable for him. I, it captures all the um, command received so far. So the proposal would be to go for working group last call also for this one, so we can um, we can um, announce this working group last call for both documents at the same time. And uh, and uh, I don't know if there is any question or or concern about um, launching the, this uh, working group last call. No question, no comments. Um, I, at least. Uh, in the last ITF meetings, uh, uh, people were happy with the content and uh, there was some willingness to push forward this document, so I think it is along uh, what we have said. So we will go through the working group last call and we'll see the results uh, of this process. Okay? So this is down for the working group last call. Uh, now, along the, uh, the new charter proposal, uh, there is, for the time being, individual drafts, and uh, we have three of them. So we have the uh, dynamic authorization proxying uh, proposed by um, Alan. 
and uh, it is proposed in the new charter to have this uh, document as a working group document uh, for submission as a standard track RFC uh, in November this year. Saying that uh, this document is stable and it just needs a review and uh, to agree on the content. Um, so, no reaction since the last meeting, but with the proposed uh, text for the charter, for the new charter, uh, there is ongoing discussion between, uh, between uh, Peter and Alan on what should be the content, the exact content of this uh, document or of the, or the, the, the work item for the working group. Uh, saying that um, the initial um, attempt from uh, uh, Alan was to rely on the operator name ID just to be able to, uh, to, to perform the procedure and warning. So I will not go through the, um, uh, the details, but uh, Peter seems to, to think that we need to provide also more information regarding um, kind of a state management in the proxy and uh, there is some controversy on that, so we will see what could be the output of that. Um, I don't know if there is any reaction on the ongoing uh, discussion on the mailing list. No? So, I think that um, it's not... Um, it so, it means that there is something to do. I think that, uh, at least in the Radex uh, working group, so I would say that this document, the, the work item is okay for the working group. I think that it could be, also, it is also okay to rely on this document as a working group, as a base for discussion, and to progress this draft um, as a working group document. And uh, if there is something to change, I think it will be based on uh, proposal and uh, comment on the current text, and uh, and that's all. So it will be at least my proposal. I think that Stefan could be also in line with this proposal. I don't know if he's uh, reacting on the Jabber room. Just, uh, Stefan, just be broad. State anyway. No other text in the proposed charter seems contentious. I'm sure we can wordsmith around it. Okay. Thank you. So after that, we have the uh, document on the correct use of EAP response uh, identity. Uh, so we have discussed this document several times, especially at the last meeting. It was agreed to work on. So this document was not updated, but uh, from Stefan's point of view, it can be used also as a basis for future work, so we can rely on this document as a working group document and to provide the comments on this document and to see how to progress uh, this document forward. Uh, the it is proposed after a discussion in the AAA uh, direct, sorry, uh, so expert directorate, I don't even remember the name, but it was proposed to have a kind of BCP because this one will not be used only for radius, it will be used for diameter, for instance, and also for anyone relying on the uh, uh, on, on this information. So, uh, yeah. Stefan says, waiting for my doc update until after we talk. Okay, good. Um, so I think uh, this was mainly al already discussed at the last meeting. I think it was m more um, about the, uh, the new charter, but uh, it was just to highlight what's happened for this document. And the last one is the um, data types. So from Alan's point of view, this document is stable enough to be used also as a working group document. The last version contained uh, all the, um, capture all the comments received so far. No new comments were received but we can uh, rely on, on the current document as a working group document. And it is proposed to work on this document to have an informational RFC published uh, after the November meeting. So on these three documents, there is no question, comments, and so on. So we will... We will go on with the, the um, 
uh, the general uh, the overall uh, set of slides from the working group chair. Uh, we had uh, a discussion regarding an errata on the RFC uh, 5176. Uh, this is the uh, dynamic authorization uh, document. So uh, Alan proposed to um, so highlight a mistake in the document regarding the presence of the uh, error code that uh, error cause attributes uh, either um, so for Sierra request or disconnect request and um, uh, it was said that in the hack also the error codes could be there and uh, this one was agreed by uh, by uh, Bernard and Stefan also I think Bernard Aboba and Stefan and um, Bernard raised also the fact that if we correct the section 3.6 to clarify that the error codes could be also present in the ACK. Uh, we need also to update the text in the section 3.5 uh, to clarify um, that this uh, error codes may now be included also in the um, COA, uh, COA ACK and Disconnect ACK packets. So I think it's, it was agreed uh, by Bernard Alan. Stefan is okay also with that, and I'm okay with that. I think that the uh, only issue wi was to how to, um, to um, if only one errata or two errata were um, uh, needed for that, and I propose, and Stefan and I propose to have two different errata, so to keep the first one proposed by Alan and to add a new one, I think it was already done by Alan anyway, but uh, I will check. The second one, this is Kathleen Moriarty, yeah. so the second one's been added already? Uh, I have to check. There is a, a, a set of uh, errata uh, published on this one, so I don't know if the new one was related to this one, or. but actually the proposal would be to have a new errata for the um, clarification on the text for I the section 3.5. I agree, that's easier, so thank you for doing that, and just let me know when they're ready, and I'll go in and take care of both of them. Okay. Thanks for the review. So for the... O obviously, for the uh, for the both errata, the status will be verified. No comments. Okay. Uh, so now we go to the discussion on the revision of the charter. Um, I don't know if you have checked, but the current char charter is from uh, December 12, 2012. So uh, uh, we need to update uh, the text because a lot of things is now out, uh, out of date. For instance, it's not required anymore to provide to, to enforce interoperability between diameter and radius. And uh, we have a lot of things uh, already done. For instance, uh, uh, the attribute space extension, the um, uh, wireless LAN attributes, the new transport, and so on. So um, a new text was proposed. Um, weeks ago, one week ago, and it is proposed to, to work on this text uh, to agree uh, on the new charter. Uh, so all the comments need to be received uh, before uh, the end of this week, 27, but I think it is um, for the time being a requirement. So, sorry? Friday, yeah. So please comment uh, the proposed text. There is an ongoing discussion regarding, as I said, um, um, the proxy, uh, the proxy uh, mechani uh, proxy related mechanism. Uh, but please comment the other part of the documents, uh, the pro charter. And here you have uh, an highlight of what would be. Uh, uh, I will not go through the text, but uh, mainly to clarify now that uh, everything related to uh, radius diameter extensibility uh, is, is removed. Actually, I'm not even sure that I have captured the, the right text. The idea was to remove what was removed, but uh, I think that, for instance, the second section was uh, was removed, but uh, I, I will have to check. Um, I think that the main point also would be to, to look at the, work, the proposed work items. So, as I said, we have the CR proxy, and there is an ongoing discussion on the text here. Uh, the main comment received so far is the, is the fact that we should, no, we should maybe not describe how the mechanism will be provided. And for instance here to say that we will use the operator name. Uh, 
as said by Stefan, I think that we can live either with the text or propose text for that, but I think it will not change the purpose of this uh, work item. And, uh, and we are working also, we will be working also on the uh, rules for the uh, EAP response identity packet for the encoding. Uh, encoding. And the data types. And uh, the larger packet was uh, already in the charts, in the charter, and, uh, and uh, it is still there. And we have still the reduced attribute uh, IP port configuration and report. So, from a working group point of view, we need comments on that, uh, just to ensure that the, 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 the charter will reflect um, the agreement of the working group. And also, uh, some milestones are proposed, and uh, to see if we can go with this milestone. I think we could, we should be able to go faster, uh, but we know also that we take some time in the Radex the working group. So you will see that we are not too ambitious, but uh, we need to go forward with this document. And uh, for all the documents, we need review, review, review. So it will be my 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 my. Uh, main comment as a new chair of the uh, Red X working group. I think that there is a lot of uh, interesting topics. We know that there is a lot of activities around Redius and Redius extension, but we, we need maybe more activities on the mailing list and more review, and not only regarding our own document, but also document provided by uh, other uh, members of the working group. And we have for now a 40 minutes uh, meeting. So the floor is open. If you have anything to say, please. Uh, otherwise, I will uh, stop the meeting. I think it was a pity because uh, either Sam and Alan were not able to, to be in the room. So it would change also the, uh, <laughs> the level of the discussion. Um, but uh, the, the main point for now is to uh, to, um, to, to go forward, uh, so to come in during the working group last call for the working group document and to agree on the charter. It will be the, the summary of this meeting. So if there is no comment, no question, I will close the meeting and thank you for your participation. And welcome. Hopefully, it will not be a good thing. Yeah, because I'm, because I am also in the environment in which I'm part of it. And I cannot tell I'm in uni and all that. Yeah, I know. Ah, hi, uni. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm